All right, what's going on everybody? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys today how I play 3.0 Expo. It's not a deck that I play very often because I obviously prefer the more control decks um, as opposed to cycle decks, but um, I like to think I'm very good with this. This is the first deck that I've played really ever in a competitive way. Um, and I think I got like top 1000 with it a long, long time ago, like three, four, maybe even five years ago um, from this point. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I like to play it. I think I play a little bit differently than other people. Um, a lot of people are more aggressive than I am with this deck. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm very aggressive, but I just like to kind of build into the pushes more than some people do. They just kind of go expo every second they have it. And I don't like to play that way. I like to actually think about what I'm doing. Um, so I'm gonna go Ice Spear at the bridge in front of these archers, just force out a lot of elixir. It looks like he's playing Golem. So I'll just keep the uh, the short amount of like little chip damage pressure on him the whole time. Um, and I'm gonna cycle a Knight in the back, see what he wants to do. If he goes ahead and pumps, which he is gonna do right there, I think I'm just gonna commit with an Expo. He's probably gonna go Electro Dragon. Um, yeah, okay. So... I'm just going to kind of let this go, and then I'm just going to fireball the pump. It seems like I should have a fine time defending this. I also think I can activate the King Tower with this interaction, obviously with the Electro Dragon. I think we're going to get a positive trade out of this. The King Tower is going to be very, very important for, for the rest of this game. Um, I'll just go Skellies up high. Okay, that was kind of bad Skellies, but doesn't really matter. He's going to go for the Golem in the back now. So this is going to be the push that's going to be pretty difficult to defend. The one problem with this deck that he's running is I can't really kill the Electro Dragon. It kind of just gives him infinite value. So I just have to figure out a way to get rid of that. I'm going to go Tesla here immediately in the middle and then see what he wants to do. I'm just going to fireball those Skelly Drags right off the map because obviously he's not back to his pump yet. So I can obviously cycle all the way back since my cycle is so much quicker than his. Um, okay, he is back to pump, but that's fine because I can just go in with an offensive bow. And now he could be in a decent bit of trouble here. Going to go for the log. I know he doesn't have a ton of elixir. He has the Evo Knight, which is fine. Um, I'll go for my Knight here. I'm also going to Tesla as well. And that's going to snipe the E-Drag, which is actually very, very good. Ice Spear to freeze that um, Barbaro. We're going to get a decent lock on, which is seems fine. But at the same time, he's probably just going to start Goleming now. But that could win us the game. If I play perfect defense the rest of this match, then there's a chance I just win off that. But we'll have to see what, how he wants to play this. He's going to go Skelly Drags. He wants me to Fireball that. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and cycle a Tesla in the middle here. And then there's the E-Drag. Okay, this is the problem. I can't really kill that. So I'm just going to go for the Ice Spirit. And then I'll go ahead and Fireball all of this in a second once this all dies. And I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Um, E-Drag gets a little bit of damage. I could... Uh, see, this is where it gets a little bit sketchy. Um, I could go in for an offensive boat right away. But now I know that he's just going to Golem. So I've just got to play perfect defense. Try and go for like two fireballs on his e-drag or maybe like try and chip it down i don't even know how to kill it to be honest that's my one problem but it's fine we'll figure it out i'm gonna go for the fireball early actually my archers are gonna die but he did just use his nato so now i can potentially do something here or go for the knight down low and then i'm just gonna go ahead and ice spear to the side and i'm gonna fireball all this again i think just to make sure the e-drag dies keep that lumberjack Okay, get off my tower, please. Okay, we're not we're not dead. We're almost into triple, and once we get into triple, I know I'm down like a pump basically right now, but at the same time, I should be fine as long as I can cycle enough fireballs on top of his E-drags. Um, so he's going to go Evo Knight. This is going to be a very difficult push to defend. I am just going to Ice Spirit up high to catch this E-drag, and then Fireball now to make sure it pushes back. Buy myself a little bit of time. Go for a second Tesla all the way up high just to buy myself time to get back to more cycle cards. Um, Evo Knight's going to clutch up for me here and defend the rest of this push, I think. Um, good Tesla that pulled it, everything he had all the way to the opposite lane. Please don't chain my tower. Okay, we're fine. In 40 seconds left, if I can just play a perfect flawless defense here, then I should win this game. So I'm going to go for the expo on defense. 40 seconds left. Okay, we'll go for the log just to start chipping down his tower. Ice Spirit as well. I'm going to fireball that right away. We're going to hit the Lumberjack and the E-Drag, which is a lot of value. Really, really good. Go for the log here to push back that Golem. And E-Drag is going to die, which is really good for me. I can just go Ice Spirit, and then I should be able to defend this. Only 24 seconds left. Even if he goes for an Expo, or not an Expo, a Golem at the bridge, I should be completely fine. I'll just go ahead and... Um... 
I'm just gonna fireball the tower. I probably could have just fireballed on the fence there first, but it shouldn't really matter as long as I don't let anything line up. I'll go for a Tesla to make sure he can't pull any NATO plays to my tower, and yep, that's gonna be GG's. Don't need to do anything crazy, just go for the Evil Knight to tank for the rest of his troops, and that's basically exactly how you wanna play against Golem. You gotta get that early lock on, and if you do get that early lock on, you will go down some elixir, obviously, with his pump, but definitely was worth it in the long run because I played good enough defense and didn't let his E-Drags get uh, too much value there. All right, we got game number two here against this guy. I like to just start off with either my Ice Spirit or Archer split in the back, to be honest. Um, he's gonna go for the Hog Rider. I'm just gonna Tesla in the middle, so he's probably playing Hog or Earthquake, if I just had to guess early on. This actually is a pretty okay matchup, as long as you can get some decent chip and single just by spamming Expos over and over. Um, basically, what I like to do is kind of... I don't know if you want to call it bait them into playing their earthquake on the tesla but you play the tesla just directly in the center where it's like oh i should just earthquake that and the hog will get to tower right um at least you want to make them think that and if they're not a great hog player they'll usually fall for this like honestly we'll see if this guy does it i am pretty high up right now i'm like almost top 100 so i'm not expecting these guys to be pushovers i'm gonna go for the tesla in the uh, middle here hopefully he earthquakes that if he does i go in right away yep okay so perfect scenario here hog is not going to get a hit either oh it does get a hit never mind um but i can just go skellies he's somehow back to another knight how in the world is he back to another knight he just played that but it's fine i can go for my knight to tank for his and i think he could be in decent trouble here he does go goblins and let's see should i get a connection here i'm not actually too sure he does have enough for a hog i can just ice spirit log that and then my knight wow i can't believe he has enough for log as well um i kind of want to just go in on zero but i think he'll have four elixir for a building so i probably shouldn't do that and yeah that did not start off the way that i thought it was going to at all i swear he was way lower than me but i'm just gonna mute up and focus I'm not gonna worry about that too much just put the archers in the back we're already to evo knight and i believe he is as well so um, just need to make sure I'm preventing as much damage as possible. Go for the Expo now and see what he wants to do. Obviously, he's going to drop Evo Knight. He's going to Earthquake as well, which is fine with me. I can just kind of let this go. Um, I'm honestly going to go for my Evo Knight in front of this just to tank and force out a lot of Elixir from him. He's going he's gonna to go Goblins um, and then Log. That's fine with me. He's probably also going to go Ice Spirit. So, yeah, there it is. I can just get a connection with my Ice Spirit. Hopefully, get a little bit of damage. No, he does go for another Knight. This guy's got infinite Knights. I don't even know how he's getting back to them so quick, but I guess. I'm just going to go for my Knight in the middle here. Take care of this Hog. And, oh my goodness, what in the world? He's got Wizard. Okay. Um, have I really had that much of an influence? Like, why are people playing Wizard randomly? I don't understand. Like, I, I, I literally just played it for fun um, and it saw it was a decent card. And I, I all of a sudden, the entire, like, next two weeks, it's just been Wizard Royale. Um, not complaining. I think it's awesome. But I'm going to go Archers in the left here. And I'm not trying to take credit for it either. Like, I'm not saying that I'm the only reason people are playing Wizard. But, like, I don't know. I, I feel like nobody played it a couple weeks ago and now it's just everywhere. But I don't know. Wait, did he just... That is actually the worst play I think I've ever seen a person make in my life. Um, I'm going to go Archer Skellies just so this hog does not swing on my tower. Oh my gosh, that was way too close. We don't have to worry about the Firecracker chip damage. That's a big lock-on as well. I could basically win me this entire game as long as I don't mess up now. Um, I'll just go for the Tesla in the center. Definitely cannot be making mistakes like that from if you're him. I'm going to go Knight because I feel like he's going to go Wizard. Um, he's just going to Earthquake, which is fine with me. I can just go ahead and Archer's Ice Spirit to freeze. That and okay so um i'm gonna go for the tesla in the middle here just kind of be patient i don't need to do anything too crazy i'm gonna go expo in the left lane actually since he did just drop his knight i'm gonna go knight as well because he's probably gonna play wizard on top of that no he's gonna go in the opposite lane very aggressive gameplay dude this guy's just ba bailed out by the evo knight like he's playing so aggressive for no reason and kind of just getting not not getting lucky but like the only reason he's alive is because he's got evo knight right now so i'm gonna go for the log ice spirit not ice spirit skeletons to push that um knight away then my expo is gonna need a response he does go for the hog i can just fireball cycle his tower at this point and he's gonna go with the knight in front of this wizard most likely yeah so i'll just get my knight down as well cycle a log on top of all this and then i can just tesla on zero to take out the wizard ice spirit just to freeze that hog and then we're in a really good situation here expo or not expo towers helping out with the hog rider as well tesla cleans that up really really good interaction i can just split my archers once again he's going to want to go in once again but this time i have evo knight so i can just fireball log this wizard off the map take care of that right away and then there's nothing he can really do 
too drastic at this point. I can just go for the Tesla up high once again. Go for the Knight. I can Fireball the Tower now. He gave me a fire Fireball on the Tower, which is a pretty big mistake. Um, 27 seconds left. I can Log to finish off the Wizard. That's obviously the main priority, taking that off the board. And I don't have to worry too much about this Hog on the left side. I'm just going to cycle another Log because he's spamming everything. Um over there on the right i can go skelly's tesla up high and 12 seconds left basically we won because we got him to um i don't even know what happened there he just kind of misclicked his plit his um knight and his ice spirit was too low didn't even tank for my expo we get that massive connection and that pretty much wins us the one the entire game but that's the thing with cycle decks like this you're keeping on the pressure the entire time um and sometimes your opponents just make mistakes or you catch them off guard i feel like he was down elixir from that very first earthquake that he did and we eventually just caught him off guard so gg I'll tell you what, I'm never taking for granted not having a cold again in my life because, dude, this is the worst thing ever. My voice just sounds terrible. I don't feel that bad, but, like, my throat hurts a little bit. It's just the worst thing in the world. I'm going to go for the knight up high here. Oh, my goodness, starting hand royale here. I guess not. I did, I did cycle my archers, so I can kind of only blame myself. Um, I'll go for the ice spirit to freeze that balloon, and then I'll just cycle another set of archers. I probably didn't need that, to be honest. Kind of a waste but it is what it is we get some decent chip on the left side he's not even gonna defend those first sets of archers i'm not sure why um he could he could have probably bar barreled and then took him less damage but you know it is what it is taking less damage all right roast me in the comments for uh my bad english guys i get it but anyways um balloon cycle um i think this is an okay matchup if i'm not mistaken i really have not played 3.0 in a very long time so i could definitely make some mistakes that i shouldn't be making i'm gonna go skeletons and then i guess i'll tesla the river um over here just to snipe that oh that was really bad timing i probably should not have done that huh oh my goodness i need a knight up high to tank for that and then hopefully my archers can do something that is a really good snowball though i think i just lost the game i'm not gonna lie um yeah, that was that was really bad for me. Evil Knight is going to get a lot of damage, though. Wait, he has no elixir. I can just go Expo on the left. Maybe we didn't lose the entire game yet. This is hope. All hope is not lost, because now he doesn't have, like, much elixir at all. I can just Ice Spirit if he goes for the Eye Drag, which he does. I can just go Archers on zero, and that should tank, and we should get Tower, I think. Um, he is going to go Evil Bats, which is kind of a problem. Hopefully my tower can take those out. I still don't really know how these card, like how this card works. Um, I can go skellies on zero to tank for this miner. Keep my tower up, dude. These bats need to die. Holy crap! Okay, uh, we're fine. I'm just gonna cycle a log, and then I can get back to an ice spirit to freeze this inferno dragon, and we should be in a good situation. Not a good situation, but like we're alive. This is gonna be a very interesting two tower match as well. Um, I'm just gonna cycle a Tesla. He's gonna go ahead and take tower with that snowball, which is fine with me. I can just go ahead and split my archers, go for the expo in the middle here, I think. Because he doesn't have a really a great response for the expo. Um, he is going to balloon, but I get the connection. I'm just going to fireball the tower just to start getting some chip damage. And he's got to defend that archer if he doesn't want it to take tower. He's not going to defend it, so I can just cycle two logs to finish off his tower now. And we're in a pretty good situation. I'll go for the archers low, knight over to the side. We catch the miner, which is really good. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to be on my tower, but I should be fine. Archers are doing a good enough job to take out basically everything there, and a really good defense kind of keeps me in this game, and now we have a pretty good chance to actually win this. Um, I guess it's nice to show some two-tower games as well, because it doesn't really happen very often, so hopefully I can pull this one off. Uh, what I want to do here is just continuously split archers and keep make sure I have a Tesla on the map at all times. Fireball this back, keep my Tesla as healthy as I can. Ice Spirit just to freeze that miner, and yeah, really good defense right there. That could have potentially just won me the entire game, I'm not going to lie, because um, now I can just set up, and he can't really do too much. I'm just going to continuously have this Tesla right here in the middle, and then I can just go for the archers over on the right side here, snipe these bats. <clears throat> excuse me and then he's gonna go barbell i'm gonna protect the archers with the evo nice that kind of failed but it's fine i can just go for another tesla here to snipe this inferno dragon and ice spirit should jump as well really really good interaction he's gonna go eat for his evil bats basically a waste in my opinion um of the bats i'm just gonna go skelly's down low he's obviously going to try and minor with this right i'm gonna go ice spirit then tesla in the middle um really bad barbell by him doesn't even hit a single archer so now that's gonna easily keep this tesla alive which is really really good for me i can just go ahead and keep splitting archers in the back don't need to be too over aggressive but i am gonna go for an offensive bow here and then just pre skellies archer gets a shot on tower every little bit of chip is very important i can go ice spear here to freeze whatever he plays and i can get the knight down no i do not 
If I was quicker, I probably could have won the game right there, but it's completely fine. Just these archers are absolutely ruining his day right now. I can go for a Tesla. Unfortunately, that, that is not going to pull the balloon, but it should be fine. I'm just going to log, fireball this balloon over because it's not going to get to my tower. And yeah, it's fine. I can just keep splitting archers in the back. Um, 30 seconds left. I'm just going to play full ultra defensive at this point, I think. Go for the Tesla up high. I'm just going to Ice Spirit to freeze it as well. Scavies in the back. Um, go for the second pair of archers. And yeah, there's basically nothing he can do. 25 seconds left. Really, really good like defense in game management at this point. There's basically no way for him to break through as long as I don't make a major error on defense or like overcommit on offense. And after getting that decent lock on um, early on, like on the second tower, then I could just kind of play defense the whole game. And we, we win a two-tower game with Expo. Doesn't really happen very often. Kind of got a little scary at the end here, but we're fine. Um, even if he gets that one balloon shot, it doesn't change anything. We're going to hit him with a good game. And that's how you play 3.0 Expo. Been over a year since I played it, like, for a video, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you leave a like. And we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.